and actually this this shed right here I have no idea which buck it is I have no pictures of it and it's nice to know that there's another shooter on the farm what'd you find one. yeah that's a good size honey <laughs> all right guys welcome back this week's show, I'd like to just kind of go over a few tips that are going to help you guys find way more sheds. And I used this tip last year and found over 20 sheds. And I also think that this tip will help you guys to identify real high traffic locations for you to put your tree stands and see more deer. So the great thing about the winter months up here in Canada is that we get lots of snow. And with snow, it makes it easy to trail and track where the deer are moving throughout the year. As you can see over my shoulder right here, there's definitely a predominant trail beaten down in the snow which identifies to me that they're comfortable using this trail right here and I also know that if I set up trail cams in areas like this from past experience they'll use these trails all throughout the summer as well so when I find trails like this I like to take along with me some orange ribbon and I'll walk down these trails to see where they're coming from and where they're going to I'll stay off to the side of the trail which is important you don't want to walk directly on the trail and I'll flag the trail all along the way. That way when the snow melts, I'll still be able to know where these deer like to move and where they're comfortable moving. So anyway guys, join me as we walk down this trail and check out where this goes. One of the things I think is important when you're putting this ribbon up is you want to put it a little bit higher so that the deer don't necessarily get spooked by it because your scent's going to be on it. It can has little tails sometimes that can flap in the air so you want to keep those as short as possible but just put them up a little bit higher that way you're for sure not going to spook the deer off the trail that they're traveling. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the trail that I've been following now does a Y. So what that tells me is that I've got two good game trails coming onto one good game trail. So that's promising for the one I've been following. Now, when they split like this, you can get overwhelmed with how many deer trails are actually out here. But what I'll do is I'll just follow one and uh, that'll be enough for now. You can't get everything mapped in one outing just want to do your best pick one trail stay on that trail follow it to wherever it's going it's probably going to lead you to probably the bedding areas and uh, other food sources which you're going to want to make note of and uh, find trees that you can put tree stands so I'm just going to stay on this trail follow it this way and see where it ends up okay so as you can see we've reached the fence line and uh, the deer trail comes across the fence lots of deer fur right here so that's a good sign and the trail carries on now I used this strategy last year like I said and if you can see up above me right here is one of my tree stands where I sat last year saw a lot of action from that tree but just didn't get close enough in bow range to shoot you know it's really interesting as I walk these trails it's putting all the pieces together for me from my last year's experience Last year I used to walk behind me here in this field to a tree stand location and I can remember as some mornings I walked in I could see does over exactly where I'm standing right now crossing this fence line and walking along this fence line. And it was interesting now that I followed one of these trails that I started on I end up exactly right here. And so I really think this strategy is going to help me out this year for finding more sheds and also finding better tree stand placements. The snow doesn't lie where these trails go or where the deer are moving and if you can find the ones that have the most traffic those are going to be your best trails for sure. As you can see these trails lead to some really good sign. I'm finding rubs all over the place following these trails. 
All right, you guys, I'm real excited. I've been following this trail now for a little bit and it's leading me into some promising locations. I just found this awesome rub and I can tell you right now, you guys, you gotta get out off the couch. If that's where you're at, it's January. Get out into your bush, get out into your fields, look for these trails, follow them because they don't lie. They're leading to me to some promising areas that I never even realized were around. Never seen this rub before. So I'm just gonna carry on, keep looking and keep finding. I'm gonna definitely nail down some real good locations for tree stands. And I'm definitely mapping out some good trails to find more sheds on. So get out there, get some good exercise, have fun, enjoy the outdoors. More rubs there. And there. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> So here's what a deer bed looks like in the snow. See where the deer got up and left its bed at some point. So what I want to show you here is eventually when you follow these trails you're going to come to a high traffic area where many trails intersect. So I've got one trail there. I've got one trail going that way, which also goes that way. Then this trail has another one going out that way. So we've got about three different trails all intersecting into this one area. And there's a few good trees that I could definitely place some tree stands here. So what I've done is I've made a special marker that will remind me when I come back here that this is definitely a high traffic area and a good spot to probably put a tree stand. Whew. So that's it for today guys. That was quite the workout. So after traveling along all those trails and marking them out, I feel pretty confident that uh, seeing the sign that I saw and some of the areas that I got to see firsthand that I never really had a good look at last year I'm confident that I've got some new stand locations that are going to be successful and I definitely have a better understanding of what the deer are doing in my area. Keep in mind I've got a lot of land that I have access to and so doing this is definitely productive. You can only buy so many trail cams to set up in so many locations until you get out and see for yourself what's going on. Using the snow and the elements to help you is definitely a plus. So get out there, map out your deer trails, see where the big trails are intersecting, look for good trees to put your stands in, set up trail cams now to see if what you're finding is actually uh, going to be beneficial. It's mid-January here, we still got uh, deer that have all their headgear on, so sheds haven't fallen yet. Um, last year it wasn't until March that they fell, so we've got another month and a bit at least. So anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I'm wiped. I think I'm going to have a nap here. So take care. God bless. Hunt safe.